once again with his eye from the neutrals here in this polar vortex that we call Wisconsin. At Anime Milwaukee. And I'm introducing it in the bathroom again. I don't know. Already got registered for today's week. right now and that's see this goes beyond the Hyatt Regency place it in fact goes to the Wisconsin State Center happening at this side of the building it seems. Mm. I don't know what's going on in there. Okay. My goodness, there's lots of horny demon people over there. guy all the way in there is Kyle Hebert. You may know him as the guy who goes Flax time on Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Hopefully we will be getting closer to him later. This thing is here. I wonder what it could possibly mean. Well, I have to say, that's a very persuasive argument. Woo! Hey. Well, anyway, at the moment, I'm going back to the Hyatt Regency part of the con, because there's something very important over there for Channel all two guys. Yeah, I missed it. I can't. I don't know. I'm to be singing a little song around here. Um, the wheels on the bus go around. Looks like a very angry stereo system over there. goes on and on, my friends. Some people pre-registered for Anime Midwest, and they'll continue attending because it is the best. This is the con that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friends. Some people pre-registered for Anime Midwest, and they'll continue attending because it is the best. This is the con that never ends. Well, I, I usually just pay at the door. I mean, I register for these things. Um, you know, I don't know what it is with these fancy hotels and weird alien beings coming out of the sea. Ooh! Fancy looking elevators. But they probably do not have an elephant elevator operator. Well, 
It seems the Wisconsin Ghostbusters are here. Yeah, out a lot of them. Well, and there's something weird in Wisconsin. Okay, that happened too. Well, over here, see, it is this. In fact, exact entrance. See, this is where the nostalgia critic walked through at the start of his poignant review for his 200th anniversary. Yeah, I'll go up by then. Oh, well, it seems Sonic the Hedgehog is here as well. How about that? There's a lot of them up there. And a dragon ball with a hat. Oh, oh. There's a Dalek up there. Exterminate and all that. Oh, another one. I love that. I wonder what's going on. <laughs> Loki appears to be taking over this panel. So, Loki, what do you want to tell these people? As your new queen, I said kneel! <laughs> One more time, lovely. <laughs> She's gonna, oh my god, and you have a corgi on your hammer? A lot. It's an alpaca! Oh my god. That is so cute! Cute! Oh my god! Okay, thank you, ladies. Wrap of applause for Loki and Thor! That was hot, dude. I'm not gonna lie. That, that was hot. And then we, Thor and Loki had a fight. It was hot. Last you missed it! Loki got in front of everybody and told everybody to kneel. It was hot. Really? Yes. Yeah. You missed it. Did. But, yeah. but, so, so come join me, kiss your pal, in the last, like, ten minutes that we have. Okay, I'm now. just gonna stare at you awkwardly. Okay, <laughs> and you can read my <laughs> credits. Read your credits? My, my credits, yeah, that I read to everybody. Okay, okay so, so, we were just, and Kyle hasn't seen Game of Thrones yet. Do it! What is wrong hey, with Kyle. Kyle. Do it! Do it, read my credits. That's the deepest. Last time. Ladies and gentlemen, Lauren Lent voices the Chief Fei Ling from Blaze Blue, Kyoko Sakura in Madoka Magica, Young Lilia and Soul Calibur, Kasumi in Dead or Alive 5, Boy Boy, and Redline, Sakuya in Sword Art Online, and Squiggly from Skull Girls. Game of Thrones, he can't really list who his favorite characters are. But he has seen, and there are people who haven't seen Game of Thrones yet in here. You have seen the Red Wedding. Yeah. Oh, you have oh, seen the Red yeah. Wedding scene. And yeah. I know, I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing. I don't know. She's walking around with her phone set, I think. I don't know. So, yes, as well as anime craziness goes on, the National Pheasant Fest is going on in the same building. It's, just think about that.
adventure time. Come on, bring your friends to go to very distant lands. Jake the dog and feed the human hope. Hunger and adventure time. <laughs> so close. Oh, oh, I don't want to ask all the all. It's literally everywhere. Yeah. I don't know what Cookie Monster apparently. I don't know why Cookie Monster doesn't have the rest of his body right now. Oh, there's that really tall ghost thing again. Not quite as tall as the one from Anime Midwest, but for well. Excuse me? Hmm. Somebody seems to have forgotten their bread over here. I don't know. These people look pretty suspicious. I don't like it. No. Hey, I'll take it. Mm. He seems determined to pass out his flyer to everyone in the hallway. Mm. In fact, I'm beginning to get a bit... Somebody's singing. It's a happy Well, at least he hasn't handed me one over here. Him. Yep, hi, that's the, uh, he's doing it again. I don't, what the heck is this? Oh, enemies control. Yeah, he's headed again. I have okay. one of these kinds, Zonda. You don't need to. Uh, let's see. Oh, that confound it. Something tells me the sign isn't quite right now. Yeah. It's kind of walking in the bush, I guess. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh well, if it isn't Batman, apparently. Take a look. It's on the ground. It's some pocket. You know what that is? Because oh. well, there goes one of the Wisconsin Ghostbusters. Oh, a man with an accordion. How about that? Now we've had a good fun. But I can guarantee you around one. I think it's about time that we said goodbye to this anime Milwaukee visit, don't you? Oh, it's Wolverine over there.
There's something you don't see every day. Well, hey, now I'm back home again, so that's all already been my second con I've done, so that was nice. Uh, good to see a, the local, you know, convention. Uh, great to meet, you know, Kyle in person. That, that was the main reason I went, and all the nice cosplay, so I'll see whatever con I turn up at next. Uh, another really good experience, so bye then.